Greetings trainers and welcome to the channel. This is our uh, August update on this account. Um, August was a, a rough month. Not a whole lot was happening. The events were not too big. So at the very beginning of the month, I took a family vacation. On the very first day, I managed to get my portable charger and my phone wet. I did not realize the waves were going to be quite as high as they were at the beach. So I messed up and got my phone wet and my portable charger. My portable charger died and my phone was acting up for my entire vacation. So I didn't play too much while I was on vacation. When I got back, I got another phone and got back into it again. And then the again, the events for this month were not really much to talk about. So not a whole lot's going on. As you can see here, I haven't made it through level 41 yet to level 42. I'm still a couple million short. The tasks have been easy, but the experience has not been coming very good. And there hasn't been much events that give experience bonuses that I could really focus on and work on. So it's been some rough going. And to top it all off, at the end of the month, I am now in quarantine with my girlfriend thanks to this famous bug that has finally gotten the both of us so while we're in quarantine we are not playing very much i do have some spawns at my house that i can get and i'm going to do remote raids some while i'm while i'm in quarantine but it's going to limit my gameplay a little bit for a couple weeks until we can get out of this and start playing regularly again so and to top it all off i don't know if it's a game update or i'm just having um a streak of bad luck but the shiny rates seem to have dropped for me quite a bit i don't know if an update to the game has been made or the shiny rates have changed or maybe i'm just having a run of bad luck but this month my shiny rates were a lot worse as much as i do check for shinies there was not a lot of opportunities for me this month now one of the things i was thinking as they released some new pokemon for this event so some of the spawns were filled with these, these newer Pokemon, and these newer ones do not have Shinies. So that limited my exposure to Shiny potential Pokemon. You know, if I have 10 spawns near me and seven of them are the new ones, or six or seven, six or seven of them are the new type Pokemon that can't be Shiny, that only leaves me, you know, three or four that are potential Shinies in that whole spawn group. So... Maybe that's what it was, or maybe they've updated the game. Hopefully that's not the case, but my shiny raids were rough, so I hunted as usual, but didn't find very much. One silver lining about this month was the community day, or community days. It actually took place on a Saturday and a Sunday this time, so we had two days to play, and it was Eevee. Now, I wanted to have the collection of all the shiny Eevees, and because of that event, I was able to do it. I actually got enough shinies the first day to actually pull this off. But I played both days and just got as many EVs as I could. So this is nice to see. This was pretty much the highlight of the month was getting all these shinies. And most of my shiny Pokemon were EVs because, again, my finding shinies in the wild was, was limited this month. So I don't know. We'll have to see going forward if that's going to be a thing or... You know, I may have to start putting some more hours in and really, really hunting, but it was slow going. But I did get all the shiny Eevee evolutions, which was a huge goal of mine. So I did get a new hundo. I don't even really remember catching this, so I might have just been rapidly catching stuff and just stumbled across it. Luckily, I was clearing out my Pokemon and almost sent this one out, so... It's a good thing I checked at the last minute. This is the only 100% IV Pokemon I got this month. All right, so we'll go over the shinies that I did get outside of the EV event. Ammonite is not one of them. This was the last one I caught for the last update. So here was the first one I caught at the beginning of this month. Before that event ended and the Pokemon spawns changed over pretty sure I got this one while I was on vacation even though I was limited I think I was lucky enough to catch this one in the room I was playing on my tablet a little bit while I was on vacation so the hotel had the free wi-fi like most places do and I was able to 
play a little, but there wasn't a whole lot I could do from such a limited space. But I caught what I could during my downtime. Ended up doing evolving one. This was nice because, again, I want to start getting the legendaries when they're available. I believe Lugia comes out today, so I'll be hunting for Lugia to add to my collection, but gotta love a legendary shiny. This one was a nice find. This was just at my house one day. Shiny checking. It was kind of nice. See that? Randomly caught. Another one I'm not even sure when I caught it. I don't think I noticed it when I caught it. I was just catching things quickly and Sometimes when I'm playing in the sun, I can't see my screen very well, and I'll catch a shiny without even realizing it. I also did catch three shiny Pidgeys this month. I catch Pidgeys constantly just to evolve them for the experience. So since I caught three, I was able to put the family together and evolve into each member of the family. So there we go. So that's all the shinies I got this month. Um... Again, very, very slow month, wasn't able to level up, wasn't able to get nearly as many shinies as I did in the past if you don't count the EV community day. So just, just a rough month altogether. And this month starting off September, today's September 1st, it's starting off a little rough being, being in quarantine. But with any luck, I'll be 100% in about another week or so and be back at it. Um, Hopefully September will be a better month. About to start a new season in the game, so new spawns, new tasks coming out. We'll have to uh, to see what kind of opportunities we can get. I'm I'm fairly confident if I can get at least one or two decent events that give extra experience, I could level up. Um, I, one of my biggest things that I want to really focus on is I'm I'm often forgetting to open and send gifts, and I I constantly tell anybody who's willing to listen that if you want to level up in this game it's all about friendship bonuses and then I forget to do the very thing that's going to get me the friendship bonuses and I sit down at the end of my day and, and tell myself I'm going to go ahead and just open a bunch of gifts send a bunch of gifts do whatever I can and then I get distracted by shiny objects or whatever it is tv so hopefully I can get a better system going to where I remember to do that stuff get leveled up and move on but I'm hoping for a much better September August August was rocky but we'll see how it goes I've got a couple more hours before the new season start, starts at 10 o'clock local time so right now I'm just kind of waiting for that I'm gonna Hit the ground running in September and see if I can have a better month. Anyway, that's going to be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.